What's up y'all, Sparta here. So for this video, I want to talk solely sound between the AKG N400 NC and the LG Tone Free FP9, or LG Tone FP9, as they're calling it now. But, um, <laughs> um so this isn't to completely say one is completely better than the other or anything like that. This is me just comparing it from how I hear it with obviously my ears between two earbuds that I like quite a bit. And um, I'll just get this out of the way now. Both of these have an app. Both of these can be EQ'd to your liking. Um, I'll just show you guys how each look here real quick. So I'll go to the AKG app first. And uh, as you got, as you can see, you get to have your own custom EQ right here, and you just you can literally just like do something like this, and you can have up to I believe like eight to ten band, eight to ten different bands right here. And I haven't tried it; I haven't seen how well they work with EQ, how well they respond. But I've heard from you know other reviewers that have tested it that. They respond to EQ very well. If you don't like that, obviously you can use apps like Wavelet and stuff like that. But uh, it's very nice to have. Nonetheless, it's very nice to have it in the app itself because some earbuds just don't allow you to do that. Um, so yeah, <laughs> those are back in there. Now for the LGs here. For one, as you guys can see, maybe. Probably because those were connected first. Let me uh, make sure. Okay. Okay, let me do this. These apps don't like to respond well when you have multiple earbuds connected at the same time. So let's do this one more time. There we go. And... The key thing that you'll see different between the AKG app and the LG app is that it actually gives you a battery indicator on the case. Due to the fact that these only have one charge in the case, it's not that big of a deal. You'll basically know if you use all six to seven hours of one earbud, <laughs> which is tip, which is obviously going to be the right earbud, you're going to be getting that full charge back when you put it back in the case. And that's all you'll be getting. Um, as you guys can see, and this isn't what I was meant to do. You also have five different EQ presets right here. 3D Soundstage, I would solely use for things like movies. I wouldn't use it for music. Some people like it for music. That's totally fine. But for me personally, I just don't like how 3D Soundstage kind of things respond to music. It just doesn't really sound all that right. Bass Boost is how these will come out of the box. So... If you like that, it'll be there, but I probably would advise you to go to the immersive mode because the bass boost sounds a little bit weird and it sounds a little bit too bloated. The immersive mode has the best bass response out of all of these and uh, the treble, obviously, for things like vocals and all that stuff, too. You have two different custom EQs that you can set right here as well. Um, if it'll respond to me, <laughs> um, I haven't set anything but you can set it it has one two three four five six seven an eight band eq here and that's very nice it also is the phone uh the earbuds also respond well save your phone has its own eq options like lg phones have for example um you can just utilize the baked in equalizer within that to set it to your liking there too but if you want it here in the app, it's right here. And that'll carry over to, say, other earbuds like Tone FN7s, things like that, if you have older earbuds. So that's very nice. Um, I guess we could talk about voice alerts when it comes to sound, too. These allow you to have voice alerts, so you can hit this, go into the notification settings, and you can pick whichever app you want to have notification settings. Some people have said... Apps like WhatsApp don't work very well with it. Probably, it's probably a WhatsApp thing. <laughs> um, 
I've had no problems with things like Google Chat, Facebook, all those other all those other kind of apps it giving me notifications. <laughs> but I tend to have it off because it's a bit annoying and it tends to lower what I'm listening to. So that's something that I just don't have. You have a touchpad lock, so you can lock obviously lock the touchpad. Due to how compact these are, let me raise the due to how compact these are. I would say these are probably going to be good for side sleepers if you want to do that. If you tend to listen to music with or listen to stuff with earbuds in, I feel like these are fairly compact. And now that you can lock the touchpad when you are going into obviously a sleep, obviously going to sleep, you won't worry about it interacting with your pillow. I don't have any problems with it interacting with things like hats or anything like that regardless, but pressure might also be something you'll have to take into account when it comes to that. Um, these also have a game mode. This doesn't have a game mode, but that's something that, uh, <laughs> you're going to have to, you're going to have to pick and choose whether or not you want it. None of these have things like LDAC, LHDC, Aptex HD, Aptex Adaptive. None of them have that. They both have AAC and SBC. And I don't really have any sort of connection issues really with any. The only time I tend to have some connection issues with these is when I leave the gaming mode on and I'm outside. And there's a whole bunch of interference going on. But the moment you turn that off, you'll be totally fine. <laughs> and you won't have any sort of issues with that. Um... I guess we could talk about battery life when it comes to that, because how long you want to listen to music with these also depends on battery life, right? These can get me a good nine hours in one ear, one single earbud usage at 50% volume. Whereas at full volume with both earbuds in, I assume it's like six to probably like six to seven. These will get five and a half hours to seven hours. And if you're just using both earbuds with ANC on and all that fancy stuff, you'll be getting around four and a half to five hours at least. So that's something to keep in mind. These have multiple charges in the case. The, these have at least up to three. These have only one, like I've talked about before. <laughs> you can use either earbud individually with these. You can only use the right when it comes to this, which is why I feel like they put the right side on the left side so people default to going to the left, going to the right earbud and putting that in first. But I still don't like how that's set up. I wish they would just keep it the way it is. It is for every other earbud. So let's talk about sound. I'm going to get into the music that I'm that I've been using and other things like volume levels, things like that. In terms of which gets louder out of the two of these, these get louder. Um, I'll even show you guys here exactly how that works. So I take both of these out, this hefty, this hefty case, have them connect. And as you guys can see, it's at full volume on the AKGs here, right? These typically will have it to where they'll always save what volume level you're always on, but I'm, I typically have these at full volume. I typically have these at half volume because I use them for work, but uh, yeah, as you guys can see, wrong way, <laughs> as you guys can see, the AKGs are pretty, they get, they're at full volume now. So I go to the LGs and as you guys can see, there are a few steps there, right? There's a few steps that you can still go up. It's like three to four steps that you can go up still. And it is a dramatic difference. I know a lot of people don't sit here and listen at full volume on their earbuds, but for me, in terms of the LGs in particular, I feel like they perform the best when they're at full volume. Um, and I'll get into that in a second when I get into the overall sound. I don't know why I closed everything, but, um, so I'll talk about the music that I've used throughout this entire process. Um, I've used Spray by Trey the Truth, Chin Check NWA, Devil Last City Zero, Knocking Doors Down to California Vacation by Pimp C and The Game, respectively. Fallen Up by Dr. Dre. Land of the Snakes by J. Cole. Um, 
sitting sideways by Paul Wall, screwed and already warned me by Trey, the truth again. Um, I kind of use family matters, but I'm going to leave that out. I used Diamonds by Lil John and the East Side Boys, Make It Easy and I've Been Waiting by Big Crit, and For the Love of Money by Dr. Dre as well. Now, a lot of these tracks are very bass heavy, but they also have a more, little bit more intricate sounds within the track itself, a little bit more going on than just bass in a typical, you know, beat line. I know a lot of people tend to say things like, oh, rap and hip hop aren't dynamic enough and all this other stuff, but unless you're just listening to very basic rap, very basic mainstream rap. I don't really want to take people's word on that. So let's go to spray in particular. What I've noticed throughout this entire, these entire, like what, 10 to 12 tracks that I used. Both of these have good bass. Um, but I feel like the AKGs are a little bit more flat. They they tend to sound a little less. They don't they don't sound like they have that much life to the bass. I feel like it's a little bit more natural. A lot of people like that. But it, in terms of the bass response, it's good. It's very well suited. It doesn't do things like muddy up the vocals or anything like that. Though I do feel like the vocals aren't nearly as forward as they are on these. On certain tracks, I do feel like the vocals can be shrill. In particular, California Vacation by uh, The Game is one where it I kind of had to stop listening because it was a little bit harsh and it sounded weird. Whereas on these... Bass is very good. I know a lot of people. I know there have been a few people that have come in my comment section, and I'm not shitting on you, but a lot of people have come to my comment section saying that these don't have a satisfying bass. As you guys can see, I have a lot of dirty South rap music in here. I have some West Coast rap and stuff like that in here as well. I have way more tracks to go off of the net. <laughs> um, when it comes to things like, say, R&B, After Hours, By The Weeknd, the song itself, not the whole album. Um, there are very intricate parts of that track, like you hear, like, crackling, like it's coming from, like, an old microphone and things like that, and p very punchy bass. And Weeknd's vocals are very forward, and they sound very nice these represent that very well. I feel like these represent tracks far better than these do. Um, because in particular with this kind of music, when it comes to say dirty South rap and all this stuff, they like to have punchy rumbly deep bass, very nice sub bass. These do very well with sub bass. I'll say that. But when it comes to the punchy bass, it's a little bit lacking. Um, vocals are decent. I feel like when it comes to <laughs> when it comes to certain kind of vocals, they can be shrill, like I said, but it, it's not always overbearing. Sometimes it is. Sometimes it, most of the time it's not, though. So it's not that big of a deal for me personally. When it comes to a track like Land of the Snakes by J. Cole, I mainly use this track because what I noticed when it came to the headphones like the, the WF-1000XM4s, the Sonys, um, it made the first, it made the first line J. Cole says, this is the shit I used to roll down Lewis Street with, sound very muffled. And I didn't like the warmth that came out of the Sonys. And I would compare them to other earbuds. I compared them the AirPods Pro, compared them with the FP8s, but they sound identical to the FP9s. So the FP8s, FP9s, and Every other earbud I used didn't make it sound as muffled as it did on the XM4s. And same with these. The, the That particular line sounds very good on either of these. And it's not that big of a deal as the first thing you hear when you start the track, aside from the beat starting up. Um, when it comes to Land of the Snakes as well, um, I feel like when it comes to things like kick drums and bass hitting drum, like bass drums, not just like 
hip hop bass, but kick drums and stuff like that. Um, these give more impact to that. These aren't terrible when it comes to it, but I feel like it's a little bit flat. Then when the sub bass kicks in, in Land of the Snakes, right, I think it's around the 40, 50 second mark. Um, the tones just like, it's very nice. <laughs> and it, the vocals are still forward. The vocals don't get muffled. These are definitely better at left, right channel separation as well. Um, these are definitely wider. Um, I feel like in some tracks, these got a little bit claustrophobic to listen to. It wasn't terrible, but it, in terms of width, I guess it just ultimately comes down to the fact that these are tuned by that wide sound stage and all that stuff. So that is actually very nice when it comes to these. Um, and it works very well. It worked well with the FN sevens. It works well here too. And these are definitely enhanced compared to the FN sevens. The AKGs definitely go by the Harmon curve. So if you like that, you'll definitely like these. If you don't like overbearing bass, not that these have overbearing bass, but I'm just talking in general. If you don't like overbearing bass, I don't think these are good. I think these are going to be for you. Um, vocals are the vocals are like a solid seven. Whereas I say these are probably due to the fact that these are a little bit more forward. I'd give these like an eight maybe. Um, and they don't get muddy. Neither of these muddy the vocals or any more intricate sounds in the track. Um, they're both very good in terms of that. What I'd say though, is like certain tracks. Yes, these can get a little bit shrill, but it ultimately depends on the artist. If the artist has a high, has high vocals, like say a Lupe fiasco or something. I don't really have problems with these in terms of that, but in terms of these, um, like I said, the game was a very much, it was a very good indicator of, I don't really like how this sounds. <laughs> and, uh, that's all I really got to say. Ultimately, I feel like both of these are very good in terms of their sound. Both of them have a very different kind of sound. If you're looking for bass, I don't know. I may be crazy, but I feel like I tend, I'm the only one that has a pair of FP9s with, actual bass i don't know maybe people need to check their library check their music libraries and put in songs that have bass in them i don't know but in terms of what i've listened to you can hear the tracks that i literally literally listed off here in terms of their bass let's say spray is definitely one that you should go to another one by trey the truth is uh woke up this morning off the uh Street King album, I think. Chin Check is not like a super bass heavy track, but it has bass in it. And I feel both of them do a very good job at representing that it's not heavy bass, but it's a bass that's impactful and it's more, definitely more impactful on these. Um, Devil Last City is another one. Knocking Doors Down is definitely one. Oh yeah, I use Falling Up. Falling Up is definitely one I would use. And that definitely has a bit more of the vocal issues that I've had with that game song on here too. So ultimately what I would say is this, if you like bass, I would go with these. If you like bass and also want good vo good vocal representation and all that stuff, I would definitely go with the tones. Uh, because they just do it better. Like, I don't know what else to say. Um, they have better left, right channel separation. They're wider. They don't feel as claustrophobic, but the AKGs are definitely no slouches. I'm not trying to say that. I'm going to say LG taking on a high end audio company that doesn't sound right. I was like, you got to keep in mind that LG, these are also tuned by a high end audio company. So, so like, what do you want me to say? <laughs> it isn't like I'm just getting a pair of HCCs paired them against them and say they're completely stomping them. Got to keep in mind what the partnerships are definitely important and key here. But ultimately, what I like to say is when it comes to things like, say, um, 
32 bit 96 kilohertz wave files flac files dsd files both of these earbuds do a very good job at being able to play those and not get overly distorted there's some distortion in the akgs with certain tracks but it's very minimal and you really got to be listening um but overall i do feel like both of these are a fantastic option for any anybody that wants the things that i listed off when it comes to these two <sighs> This is Sparta. Thanks for watching. Thanks for support. Hope you guys have a wonderful Saturday, whatever time of day it is. Area, like the video if you like it. Share with people that are interested. And have a good one.